from you for the Williams Investment Company discussion, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, and on the council uh, desk, there's several uh, maps, and if you would, if y'all can kind of look at that, <clears throat> kind of pass it around, there's actually on the property, which is south of 37 on Alabama, and the property north of 37 on Texas, let's talk about the Texas Road first. Uh, there's an option to purchase on a piece of property that Circle K has. Circle K and what they're requesting of the community and the state. Uh, it's my understanding that, that uh, they're insistent, they being Circle K, that there's a traffic light put at that intersection. And um, the city has asked on two occasions for, us, for the traffic light to be put there, and the state has studied that a couple times. And there was not enough traffic to warrant the traffic light being there at that present time. And so what the mayor had asked the Williams Company to do was put on a plant um, what their plans were for the future. And what they have done is platted this out. There's about eight or 10 different businesses there. I know the Williams Company plans on putting hotels and motels on the south side of, of uh, 37. Uh, immediately in the vicinity of Walmart, and they're planning on a rest two restaurants, as you can look on that plan. And they're also planning on a housing development. How many was that, Ron? 64. 64 housing development. And then, if, if uh, we've asked our engineer to do a traffic study to, to take a look at all this. Uh, growth that's going to be in this area, and also take a look at the sheriff's department. Presently, the sheriff's department and their vehicles go out and they go over to 76 and then come into town. But if we have this paved, it'll be a straight shot over to, to exit 37, no 39, or highway 37 uh, to do that. We don't need any approval tonight other than I want everybody to take a look. You know, they have done exactly what we've asked them to do now, is give us a long-term view of that intersection. And if you'll look on there, you'll see where they intend to place hotels, businesses, and et cetera. So it's, it's really a, a good look at the, the future of what's about to happen out there. I'm open for questions on any of that. I, I will say <coughs> Alabama Road um, is going to, the, the relocation and the paving of, of Alabama Road is going to be paid for by t Sploss funds that we voted on a couple years ago. And so this will be our first project. The other project will be out in front of the new recreation field, but this will be our first project. And the intersection um, and the light, I, we think that's going to be included. <coughs> And the utility relocation, we don't have a firm number on the utility relocation, but it's going to be somewhere between a million, 750 and a million dollars. Either relocation or brand new utilities to serve that whole area. And that can be paid for, as we understand it, through T-Supply. So I don't think we're going to have any local tax dollars or utility funds, some money in that, unless it's in So it's a good project. The hotel you were speaking about would be past Walmart? Down no, down it's the road, or it it, on north side. North side. North side 37. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I don't reckon this is a secret. They, they do have a permit or an agreement with the Holiday Inn Express to go in right. the immediate area. Yeah. And what, Mayor? I said right. That's correct. That's correct. And it, probably in the year 2022 is probably when that hotel, hotel will be going up there. So. Any questions, Mr. Fly, in regards to this project? Okay. Uh, did, since this is on our station, did you want to say something about this to any of the council members, just FYI, about the flu shot? Okay. I, I do have one thing I'd, right. I'd like to talk about, if you don't mind, there. Please go ahead. Um, 